I don't know, Josh Sloon, he made probably was. I think my thing about the Nazis and the Jews is probably like, kind of nice. Yeah. You go ahead and give that analogy. You know, <laughs> no, if it wasn't for Hydra, Captain America wouldn't exist. Exactly. It's red. If it wasn't for Jews, the Nazis wouldn't exist. Yeah. Okay. okay. Should I be eating this just for grabbing the salamander jar? What the fuck is yes. that? Yes. Eat it. Anyways, I'm going to talk about the skunk story. What skunk story? Uh, no, it's an apple. Let's just see your video. What's, what's oh, okay. Pepper? Why would you make a peppermint no. in oh, mid? You're, you're so my yeah, dog, yeah, I saw my like dog, weed. my dog got <laughs> got <laughs> got sprayed by a skunk, boys. Did you clean him in tomatoes recently? Her? Yes. Well, I didn't yeah. know what your dog was. I haven't looked at it. Uh, Did Mythbusters do a thing to where the, myth, the tomato Can just doesn't the work? Fuck up? Did they just like skunk someone for that? They just held Jamie down. <laughs> Let me fucking tell my story. Do you, guys no, remember, Josh, you, do you guys remember when Mythbusters no, launched no, a fucking bro. cannonball through fuck someone's up. house? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. They didn't know about it until later. And let me tell my story, goddamn. Oh, God, he's Holocaust like, Rangers. Just like, imagine getting waterboarded by skunks. No one fucking cares. Wait, <laughs> by skunks? Like, with water or, like, skunk? They put the skunk ass to your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna finish my fucking story now. Okay, so like I was saying, okay, no, I'm I I will actually just slap you. Uh, so I, I let my two dogs out, right, right, and I live in a forest, and there's no fences, and they just kind of run around, right. I don't look at them for two minutes, and I look down at my phone, and when I look up, one of them is just gone. <laughs> completely vanished. No barking. Didn't make any running sounds. It just calmly Which walked one? just out of my view. And so I get I get my I get Argo, the, the male dog. I put him inside. And just for a little bit of context uh, the other dog is Lil, and she's a mountain cur, which she's got really long legs, right, right, right. really long snout, okay. and she has zero hair. Or she has hair, but she's it's very fight, so her hair's fight. like her hair's like that long. She's a long snouted hairless cat. She's she's got hair on her, and she she looks like a normal dog, but the hair is very thin, and she has like not a, a lot of skin because she's bred for out running, like pigs and stuff, right? <coughs> That Bless was you. the nastiest cough I've ever it's heard. Horrible. So, <laughs> I'm dying. We're so gonna put you in one of these jars, Isaiah. <laughs> it's like 34 degrees now, right? And I'm like, naturally. What are you doing? It's cold out. You have no fur. Come here. And so I'm just Is this yelling. a baby you're talking about? What's happening? His no. dog. My dog. Which could be like a baby. this tall. Right. So that's a baby. That's so I'm, I'm calling it right. I walk out into the forest <laughs> and I get to the. Uh, there's. Between my property This is a horror. I'm calling my dog. I can't find it. It's 34 degrees, so I walk into the woods. Yep, you're gonna die. Just, no, you're it actually is kind of a scary story. Shia LaBeouf. Anyway, just go so in between, my property, in between my property, in between my property and the neighborhood behind me, is property, naked running on there all is forward. a there's a telephone pole. <laughs> yeah. This is where you so there's like a path, right? Yeah, a path. So yeah. Because yellow, there's yellow, a telephone pole. Yellow brick road, yeah. We know so I'm following the telephone pole, right? And I have this really bright dual flashlight. Dual. <laughs> dual. I thought you said dual. So it's like, like, it's like a really bright spotlight. Right? So, I'm just so you're blinding around. your dog. <laughs> In the left hand, I have a metal rod that's like detachable off the pool scammer. You're going to fucking beat dog when you find So I'm him. like, I got it for protection. <laughs> because I'm in the middle scammer. of a forest, I say. Oh yeah, I'm going to protect myself with, from a deer. I can you underestimate death. the amount of animals that lives in forests. There's not just deer that like can three kill snakes. you. Like so anyway, does not torture Hitler. Yeah, I get a Uncomfortable. An unattended <laughs> trap mauls baby skunk. <laughs> okay, that's not. So anyways, <laughs> oh my I'm god. This one. I'm following the telephone call. <laughs> 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 All right, we're just gonna. <laughs> no, no, no. It said my OC Lucina skunk fart torture. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, my. so I'm walking along this pipeline, right? And there's a point <laughs> anyway, where the forest not, it goes like this and, and like pipe. that, right? Can you Google people dying in woods? <laughs> and there's like this. It's almost rectangular, 
flat plains area. Uh-huh. It's not really a plains area. The forest comes, it comes around like that, and then the forest goes like that, right? And it's pretty open. It's opener than the rest of the forest. But in the middle, there's a little hill. It's a Y. It's a Y. In the middle, there's a hill, and there's birch trees on it. Don't know why. Like, proper white birch trees. Were you Native Americans, though? No, I was okay. here. Native Americans. And so, hill, birch trees, middle of a, a plains area. You're lucky I'm here. All the way down there, there's like a creek, right? And there's little trees along the creek. So I'm shining my light along, the light along right? And I turn to the right. Is your dog dead? And I see Aisha. Okay? Two of them. And I'm like, oh, deer. Not a big deal. Or it's a big fucking spider. I see deer all the time. <laughs> right? So I think I hear movement in front of me. So I turn the light. I don't see anything. I'm calling the whole time, yelling. If it's got Blair if there's if there's deer, let's deer will especially deer around my house where there's like there's hillbillies all around my house. Are you gonna get they're gonna, by a they're, deer? gonna they're gonna they're gonna shoot the deer, right? So me yelling that that would scare away a deer, right? These you ones think that? Are scared. <laughs> so it turned deer back, are right? Stupid. And the eye shine is gone. So I'm like, oh, they left, okay. Because they're just out of view of the flashlight to where they're in light, but just in view enough to Josh, so far the story was, this story has been terrible. <laughs> this kid just wait. Just wait. Just wondering. Just speed up. We don't need everything. So, <laughs> like a horror movie, right? I turn, I shine. I go back. Turn. No, I shine. Are you holding a clock? Right? <laughs> the, the, the flashlight has like a trigger on it. It's, it's a spotlight. <laughs> kind of you got the strap on. No, literally, it's it's the light. The light can move, can rotate. Yeah, I know exactly like what you're doing. The fact that you just started pulling your trigger, pulling like a robber. Well, <laughs> well, I'm holding like the light holding like this, and I've got the rod. And you got your little piece of rebar. And I'm literally just screaming top of my lungs for my dog to come, because she is What's out your in dog's the forest. No, that's that's the best. Lil. Lil. She's, she's named after <laughs> Little Ann or the Red Fox. Or Lil Wayne. Which is even which is even worse. Or Lil Bill. Because I don't want her Lil to get no, no, little, I don't want her to get kid. where the red fur fur grows. <laughs> you know? This I don't want her to dies. get fucking wow. eight. Right? Oh wait, that's that's only so, yellow number. Turn eye shine. Turn back. No eye shine, right? right, right I right. go back, I see the eye shine, right? Just and then it. another one. And then another one. And there's like eight eye shines. And the way the eye shine is moving, it's it's not moving like how a deer would. It's like dipping down, and they're coming towards me. And then I hear a coyote yell. And I'm like, oh shit. I'm in the middle of a forest. There's a pack of coyotes, and I can't find my dog. And the only weapon I have, the only weapon I have is a a little piece of rebar. Now, I thought I was going to be able to get my dog early. So, uh, really easily. Climb so I didn't put my shoes on. I had socks on, and at my porch, I took my socks off. So I'm barefoot also in the middle of a forest I think with a metal point, rod kind of surrounded no, no, you by a yourself. <laughs> yeah, you know. I'm barefoot in the woods with my Glock 9 light. And, 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 I, and I still hear the movement from in front of me, and so I'm like, that has to be my dog. Why is she not listening? So I keep on going forward. And the, the way the forest goes, right? So it goes like this one. And there's the plants are So you're basically on like the here. other side of the plane that Bambi's mom got shot. They're yeah, on the yeah. they're on the uh, other entire other side of the, now they, now of the they flat know exactly area. What the forest and I'm like. crossing the flat area to get to the other side. Like the clearing. And so it's it's like, like, clearing. Like, clearing. Like, That's the word I'm looking okay. for. It's, it's a like, clearing. So it's like a clearing. And I cross the clearing, and there's like this That's little. Spider nest, there's Josh. literally like, like a, uh, like a. Um, You're gonna get fucked up by a four wheeler trail almost, right? You mean and so spider I'm following trail. it, looking for my dog, right? Dog, dog steps. How much web was there? None. There was no webs. I didn't actually. It was actually probably the first time I walked in that forest without running into an orb web. That's suspicious, Because Josh. you just walk through, <laughs> right? And then the web just is right there. Because you're, you're not like, going to walk into it. You're going to Because you don't know where the spider is. Did you imagine being a bug and you the fall giant asleep spiders. and you wake up wearing silk pajamas and it's all comfortable and then your blood starts getting sucked out? And then you die. Yeah. No. Anyways, you cross so, the clearing. So, cross the clearing. Forest. I'm following the RV trail now. Following what I think is my dog's footsteps. Oh, God. You did spider feet. You tried, you tried to be a ranger. <laughs> and I'm like, now, oh, I'm trapped I'm, here. I'm, I'm, I'm not following what, I, like, the footprints, like, in the ground, but I hear what sounds like people walking, or dog walking in leech. He's just chasing the devil. So I'm following it, right? And I get to a point where the path just ends, 
and there's a chain link fence, and I still hear the footprint steps on the other side. And I'm like, this is not my dog. Turns out Bigfoot. Nice my dog eight, can climb over right fences, now, jump dog? over fences. And then, bing, it ticks in my head. I remember, like, skinwalker stories and how some stories, they'll have you, like, <laughs> one will dis uh, will make sounds and make you walk into the forest. And then I remember the coyotes behind me were moving this way, and my only way out of the forest is it's back weird. that way. I don't have a situation you made a map in you the basically air. basically just got Completely irrational, it. right? Because so, so there's like, no way that's, you that's away what happened. The but I'm like... I just got like you got Velociraptor. <laughs> yeah, like, dude, you got like this is this is what happens is in Jurassic yeah, Park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Clever you. girl. Did you? And so I'm sitting here, barefoot, metal rod, flashlight. Could you imagine? No dog. They find Josh in the woods with a flashlight, a piece of rebar, and no socks or shoes. Are you just? You've been out. And he's playing, just brother. in pieces. What do you mean a piece of rebar? You said this is off of a pool skimmer, so I'm imagining like an eight foot. Yeah, no, rod. it's not even like a piece of is rebar. Is it like a hollow use. piece it's of metal? It's hollow. It's thin like, metal in a. Oh, circle. you idiot! You gotta, you gotta, you gotta tap. I literally only, you gotta boop them you only, I literally with that. only brought it so I could hit it against the back of the flashlight to make noise, so I can get my dog's attention. Oh yeah, the coyotes are gonna be so scared of noise. No, no, dude, dude, coyotes are dumb. So I was like, okay. At this point, I'm like, I'm like, either my dog is gonna, I'm gonna meet my dog on the way back to my house. My dog is gonna come to me yelling from my porch, or, the dog or my dog you. is is done for. Oh, the dog was because I full sprint the fastest I've ever ran down that, that way, fast. barefoot, barefoot. Cold bird. I stepped on at least three sandburrs. Um, three and sandburrs, the little stickers, you know, oh, they got the sand, spikes. I, I thought you said sandburrs. I, I like, did too, and I was like, like damn, gosh. Yeah, Straight I, massacring the birds. I over. definitely yeah, yeah, yeah. ran through a bush of black briar, too. I've done that before, but I like, I got caught you know, in it. My legs were, my feet were just covered in scratches. Tell you, your feet were covered in scratches. Show me your feet right now. Was ripped out. Put them babies out. No, no please Josh, do not. No, I can show you my hand where I got the black wire. I can, I can, yes, yeah, so we can see you got hit by a black wire. Okay. So I get to my porch, right? And I, not, there's no dog, right? It was inside no family. I'm, so I'm just, just, I'm yelling, I'm, I'm yelling for five minutes now. And I finally see her just kind of waltzing. Trotting about. Just, just calmly turns walking out, to my out, porch. Turns out, Skinwalker just infiltrated your house. Did you it had a tail, so can't be skinwalker. I wasn't ready to say. So, yeah, yeah, skinwalkers come out with tails. So, it uh, all seems normal. She walks past me. I open the door for her, and as soon as she goes past me, the smell. Uh, here we go. <laughs> I smell the skunk. Oh, the skinwalker. What he saw was eight skunks up in trees watching him. <laughs> Spider skunks. <laughs> and so basically, I, I bathe her right. Um, ben Ted. If there's blood, <laughs> there's literally like drops of like blood splatters oh, on her face. Oh, did you skunk? And I was like, the skunk bit her, but it washed off. And I was like, no, she fucking killed the skunk. She she killed it, but she got sprayed directly in the eyeballs. <laughs> she comes back crying. Like her body smells perfectly fine. Don't smell, your dog. It actually smells really good because well, I because use dogs, dog shit. Because dogs her are face, like, mm, what's though, that? Let me sniff your butt. And then, her boom. face yeah. is concentrated Febreze. skunk. It just smells like, it smells like something crawled Better around. Concentrate that Literally, her, her face has got like white on it and around her, her oh, eyebrow area green. is yellow. Uh, you know, for a long time, we called one of Ben's dogs piss face. Yeah. yeah. Because, <laughs> because his big dog was peeing, and she was like, was like what's this? And she kind of stuck her white face underneath, and her face was yellow. She was like, hey, what's up, piss face? And she looked so hurt whenever we did it. Like, I think she knew. Yeah. Well, like, Ben's dog has a tumor, but it's benign. But it's, it's benign, like, it's fine. It, it, it's, she's oh, completely okay, fine. Right, right. Okay. There's, Ben was like, she's always had an odd number of nipples, so now she has an even number, because it's like right where a nipple should be. Yeah. But it's like the size of a human. It works nipple. out. So it works out. There you go. She's a chihuahua. So and so I'm like, you know, I don't want your tumor on me. I don't want like, to catch that. She looks so hurt. The reason I got scared at first is I not be for too. my life and the coyotes, but because but, I've definitely I've heard like horror stories of dogs that just they'll chase after one coyote and then the whole pack will yeah, attack we'll just it. Maul them. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, that would have been a way. My dog story. is. I hope my dog isn't just dead. See, that's what, that's what I bank off of, is I chase one coyote, I'm hoping there are more, because I like this to fill the crunch. <laughs> <laughs> but I think, I think, 
I think uh, ball bear. Lions. What what really? I think the coyotes were smarter than my dog and knew that there was a skunk. <laughs> and so I think that's one of the main factors that uh, didn't cause the, the coyotes saved your to dog's life be and your dog in my yard. Now, you, now you're in debt to a skunk. Now you have to go. It's uh, dead. It's, so it's there's, been, there's dead. been one no, mountain lion where we dead. camp in Ardmore that we know of at least, right? And we were out there camping. We set up our tent. We were in a new area we've never been in before. We did our thing. We woke up the next morning. And we were like, we walked maybe like 20 feet away down a little crevasse. And there's, like, <laughs> crevasse. There's, like, no and there's like a mutilated so deer. And like, while we were sleeping, mm, there's a we mutilated had, deer in we the had, crevasse. We had speakers <laughs> blasting, <laughs> like, no, okay, we had speakers blasting had. music. And can you imagine being no, a deer? Can you imagine being a deer? Imagine the and you're, last you're listening thing you to hear. Lil Wayne scream throughout the woods and you get mauled to death. And that's the last thing you hear is like, Young Moolah. Imagine you're a deer, you've just been mauled, and you're slowly bleeding to death, like blood splurting out, and the last thing you hear is, is just screaming. Six foot seven. A mini, a mini, a mini. Have you ever been to a zoo, perchance? I've been to several zoos. I love zoos. How long did everything last? No way. Not a lot. I went to I went to I went to Oklahoma City Zoo once, and my dad took me, and it was really sad because my dad's like not a great dad, you know. So he was drunk, and he's like, "Let's go look at animals." And I was like, "All right, cool." We get there, and he's like, "I want to see the birds," and I was like, "Okay." So I had to take my drunk dad to the birds, and there was a one there was an eagle with one wing, and he went, "I don't like that," and we left. That was it. That's my whole zoo experience for that day. Uh, I gotta see the tortoise fucking. When I Whoa. went to the zoo. I watched, I watched a video of, like, you know, like, the regular show from Cartoon Network? They were going, yeah. Where Skips, where Skips is, They were like, making the pufferfish sounds. Way. You know, when the pufferfish eats the carrot? And this is the girl is just fucking... What? <laughs> what? Oh, oh, yeah. oh the, you know, the yeah, puffer yeah, fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When, it, when it eats the carrot, yeah. that's the sound the turtle. The I watched the song. It was some new age. It was that. some new age rap song. Every time you said "yeah," it was a thing going. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it was oh. just like Yo, he, would, that's so he would spit his line. He just go. Oh. <laughs> Ryan slammed his fist in the table. And I saw like nine sets of eyes peering like saw a spider in the soul. woods. I saw his soul leave his body. Oh, actually, we should, oh. we should go out to the woods like sometime over the break and just all of us will be reporting. And we'll yeah, like, let's go find that. Yeah, I'll let you know how that goes. I'm let's, go oh, no, 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 no. Let's all we get to the woods. Let's all get to a conference call. We'll just all split up. It. I'll be in a different pair of woods because uh, I'll be in Wisconsin. Oh, fancy you hunting cheese. Oh, okay. here's, oh, here's another cheese. weird story. Hunting <laughs> cheese. So, the telephone yeah. pole goes like this on my property. So forward. And then... Also, there's a there's a there's a gas line that goes this way, D- diagonal. Okay, so they're crossing yeah. like a small so, X. So, the two the corners people. of my house are made up by a, a gas line and a power line. That's a, that's a bad combo. Like, you yeah, so there's there's shit. two paths. I will give you six dollars to drink that. What? No, 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 no. It's okay. at why six? Okay, anyway. So I always I always walk this pipeline. I always, I always ride my four wheeler down the pipeline. I walk down the pipeline. So you're a real yee, huh? Yeah, brother. <laughs> oh, anyways, no, chasing uh, skunks and so giant fucking chase, spiders. Chasing skunks and skinwalkers. <laughs> That's where Josh lives. Yeah, so Noala, right? So hills. Like, imagine this. Oh, over by the pipeline. It, it's got slight slopes on each side that lead down to a creek that goes through the middle. It's a very sandy creek. It's the best thing. And I would always go down there. And that's that's the point where I would... And the sandy creek is... That's the point where I turn around and go back to my house. After no, they call, we ventured forward. Let's do they call sandy cheeks vagina. But I, I'd done this so many times, I'd actually... <laughs> oh, that's, oh, that's the bad <laughs> Going left to the any creek. If hardness in me, it's all plastic. Are you was, hard, Isaiah? Isaiah? If there was any okay, time, Isaiah, now is the time to stop talking. I don't Think wanna... about what you're saying. I am. And then realize what you're saying is not what you should be saying. No, I can say what you're saying. Anyway, there any hardness in me, it's gone now. <laughs> so, the creek, left side of the creek, it's long, it's narrow, and it goes so all the creek. way. Yeah. <laughs> but it's dried out, there's no water. So it's like and, a, and it goes so all the way back bed. to the. So it's a crevasse. Yeah. No, not Kavaz. Kavis. It goes back to the, the neighborhood. The right side, however, it goes in like, what, like eight feet and then dead ends. Because there's just so much black briar. It goes it goes back further. But there's like, 
There's like 20 feet of just black briar entangled. It's like a wall of just It's like what Simba got flung into. It's like my pubes. Right? Like... <laughs> So the thing that Simba I would go in the there. there. And, like, rolled I would I would go in that side. And just kind of <laughs> yeah, just yeah, kind of no, chill, I, you know. I, I was trying to get some Brer Rabbit moment. I'm just kind of <laughs> chill on that side because it's in the forest, but it's sandy, <laughs> right? right? And it's it's clear, so you can just kind of sit in there and chill because it's, it's cool, right? <laughs> What the fuck like, are you doing in your no, spare time? Your description I was terrible. I literally... So yeah, yeah, no, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. No, cool, like, in... It's out of the heat. Oh, it's really, I like to hang out the inside breeze, the Blackbriar bush. The breeze <laughs> can go in, and I it's like out of the, the sun. Berries. It's Homer Simpson. So I just kind of show, right? <laughs> so imagine forest, I'm one little of the tunnels, and then Blackbriar, and it's all sand. You're just you a know, fucking just, goblin, you know that? I just kind of chill there, He's a forest goblin. So, I've done this, like, five times, where I just chill there. Right. I was going this one time, and as I'm walking, I'm about a foot from the, the Sandy Creek, right? Great the creek real. bed, and I hear a cough <laughs> from the forest, from the someone right side of the forest. I'm just the forest. like, <laughs> like literally, someone just goes <coughs> like that, and I'm just like, oh, that was nasty sounding. Why? Did I? Did I give you guys my chest infection? What the hell is this? I've been. I've had this. Cough. No, I can cough like that. I will. I have bronchitis. Wait, wait. It's just twenty four seven. Basically, yeah. He has tuberculosis. So it's a, it's just right. from the forest, just a cough from Got the, the forest. I'm like, I'm, I'm gonna investigate. So I go in the oh, right side. Nice. Of the tree. Follow the coughing in the hard. woods. This is why dogs <laughs> are gonna die. Before and then I, I and maybe not. You think you know, you're gonna find the devil? You're gonna see down, a right? So I enter it's into the forest big. before the black briar bed, and I step up on the hill. And I look up, and there's two tents. Just pitched them. Remember, you found heroin dealing. And I'm like, or some moonshiners. I'm just, or hunters? just frozen. He's gonna end up like the Jameson family. <laughs> Turns out, uh, a pair of people own that property, but don't own a house because no road goes to their house. So you just in squatting and so in their bushes. Yeah. I've, I've literally <laughs> gone there every single time, and they've been there the whole time, and I hadn't noticed. Do you think they're up there drinking a beer and they're like, hey? That kid's back. Where's he going? I don't know. And you just, like, disappeared yeah, in the bush. Yeah, so, like, 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 now, now <laughs> I, I'll shoodling. notice them, like, walking down the pipeline, Josh and across, and, um, down to Dollar General. They just, just live in a tent? They just live in a tent. Give them the chance, I would, too. Would yeah, just if I would, like... about how if it weren't for the literary magnificence of Rare Rabbit, I would not exist. What the fuck is... Did See, I thought you said rabbi, rabbi, and I was like, oh. Okay, so that is a very I owe my good life. conversation. I, I owe my life I've to never rabbi. heard of Briar Rabbit. So I've no, never have. Heard you, he that said it. He though. said it differently. <laughs> he said it three <laughs> times, and you still pronounced it differently. <laughs> let, let me only read you the name. It's yeah. Br- no, Br- Rabbit. He said it also Br- 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 Rabbit or Briar Br- 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 Rabbit. Yeah, he said Br- 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 you go Briar Rabbit. I still got the, I don't know. He can be Briar Rabbit. There's not an I. Can we just call him Bro? Rabbit. You call me that, I will freaking rip you to tonsils. Tonsils? You don't even know where tonsils are. Did you just. He's, just, he's, he's the gross. grossest human being I've ever met in my life. And I've met Adam Sandler twice. <laughs> Have you? I've actually met Blake Jones. No, I, so I try my best to avoid Adam Sandler. No my mom would have yeah. died if it wasn't. He owns, he owns a property what does this uh, mean? near the. Uh, um, fucking, uh, she had like time or something. <laughs> mountains. <laughs> Rabbit? No, mountains. Yeah, the mountain range. Died. But of course, we have a mountain range in Oklahoma. We have several. <laughs> Bro, rabbit. He kept her motivated. Yeah, Not the Kaimichis or the Ozarks. Oh, yeah, that's You know, some people go to Greek. He's the mountain range. Uh, the mountain range is strange. Troubling times. What are all the mountain ranges in Oklahoma? Blake Shelton lives in a cave. Southeast mountain range of Oklahoma. Yeah, he lives in a cave. He's a fucking. Southeast Oklahoma is just full of methods. I don't think Blake Shelton lives there. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, you know what? Tell me where the what the mountains are called. He has a lake house on the mountains in Southeast Oklahoma. I know what you're talking about because I have to drive past and go to Ardmore. I swear. I drive through them, but they're not even mountains. They're just like extreme hills. They're like Washita hills. That's what. Oh, that's yeah. Southeast, just, southeast, I southeast Oklahoma mountains, please. Washita. The, uh, that's the one. Yeah. I, <laughs> I said that before. Washita. Yeah, because like the Washita River is. He owns a, a yeah. piece of property in the Washita mountains. I, I go there every night and throw an egg in his yard. No, I don't think so. <laughs> I do. And like he has caves. 
because yeah, he owns the game. Washita Mountains has a lot of because caves. I can never find a house. I know he lives in the cave, so every day I go to a different cave opening and pour gasoline Send out in Blake it. Blake Shelton's Bigfoot College. You don't do anything with it; you just put gasoline in it, so it smells like gasoline. No, so for, yeah, for context, like, we had no idea Blake Shelton owned this land. We knew Did someone you, like, owned them, and they invited in us. Blake Shelton? No, he will like I have, string you up. Okay. And, you know, who wear so the crazy you know forest how I work goblin for the the archaeology company? What? Yeah, I work for an archaeology. The guy who I work under specifically is, Blake is no Tommy. <laughs> Tommy Thompson. Tommy Thompson. That's his name. How do you even get named like that? <laughs> his don't like last sure name is Thompson, okay, and they I'm named him Tom. I'm pretty sure that's how Tom Thompson. Because they don't love him. Let me read How was he named that and then didn't become a mob boss? It doesn't fuck you. Because he's a nerd. Oklahoma. That's why. And he's in Oklahoma. Okay. No, because he is. So his, his name is a little bit. His friends, cover story. His is friends are like Blake professional cave cavers, people. right? They, 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 ex- like they explore out. caves <laughs> and all of that. Can you years. stop fucking talking? Like cavers, they explore the caves to like check on the wildlife of them, right? Because there's like each cave has its own ecosystem, you know. So they have to check on that. I'm really fighting up to say it right now. So they're, they're zoologists, <laughs> but specifically for caves. And so Tommy knows them, and Tommy goes with them to the caves. And so my dad let me go with Tommy with them to the caves. We didn't know who owned the land <laughs> until until we rolled up and Blake Shelton steps out of his car and we're like, "Oh, I was hoping it's you. you would like fight your way out of the mouth of the cave." And he's standing there like, "So you made it." <laughs> no, it's right by my You keep on thinking Blake Shelton lives in a cave, and he doesn't. He lives in his like ma- lake house mansion. I mean, that that's makes on sense. the property. To be fair, I have no idea who Blake Shelton is. He's a country, he's a country <laughs> singer, a very Blake famous Shelton. one. How tall is he? Yeah, how tall is he? <laughs> Check how tall he is. Also, he's a really just, tall guy. just so you know, Blake Shelton, he had literally a Six whole five. bottle of whiskey in his right hand. Is he going to beat me up for me saying this? Oh, he could. He's probably. telepathic, so yeah. <laughs> telepathic? <laughs> he's like the Wendigo. Every time you say his name, he's attracted to you. He's got, he's got your number, brother. How tall is he? He's six five. Yeah. He's My mom met him in a Walmart in Medill. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm Blake, she, she was Blake like just it's around. She was she was just like looking. Terrifying. There's like a dude like on a shelf like. He's in the and voice. Then he like turns around and my mom's like, oh. Blake Shelton. It's dude, Blake you Shelton. You crossed He's into like, his property uh, and Blake Shelton sitting at home in his house just like stood up. Yeah. <laughs> his, the the, his, the like worst. Radar. I think his the worst part, or actually up. maybe the best part. <laughs> I don't know what part of it is, but it's a part of Blake Shelton's character, is he just does things, and he doesn't tell you who he is. Like, we got invited, (laughs) the caver, they literally got invited to explore the caves, and he didn't even say he was Blake Shelton. Dude, he just sent I mean, some mysterious, that, mysterious that, invitation I mean, that was, I, like, dwell in my cave. I think most celebrities you can, do that, right? You can come see, see you, know, you know what that sounds like? And then it was just Blake Shelton, Sounds like right? a celebrity Blake Shelton's that, just in the Walmart, right? He's just chilling. Can I smooth talk Blake Shelton in, like, $4 million? Is he average? How rich yeah, is he? Yeah, yeah. He's, he's a very famous country. He's very... I've never heard of him, so... Well, Have you ever seen, seen the, the, TV, the famous so. TV show, The Voice? Famous TV show? No, we're not a white mom. Uh, I watch it. <laughs> I only watched it because I have a white mom. Oh, sorry, Stephanie. I mean, <laughs> but I, yeah. I, so he's on it. I made a necklace for my cat out of my trash, as, as well as Maroon Five's Adam Levine. At one was point, CeeLo Green was on there. Yeah. And right now, when CeeLo Green was there, it was. Oh wait, it has CeeLo Green on it? Yeah. yeah. Yo. He was a judge. Alicia Keys has been a judge. I don't care about her. Kelly the Clark only good, the, the only good voice seasons have CeeLo Green in it. Cause he's CeeLo okay, Green. Speaking of TV, it's a very truth. Because then they replaced him with okay. Pharrell Williams. Because like, he stopped Judy wanting to go on The Voice. Because yeah. it's top yeah, being dude, Judge I Judy like the, hey, dude. Pharrell Williams is oh, a very is Judge Judy guy. So <laughs> the first picture right there. <laughs> Judge Judy got that wagon. Look at her dog. If any of y'all know, can, can we? Can we just? That's what happens when you get paid so much. But That's what? what happens when you're not a feminist. She's taller sitting down than she is standing up. Can't say that, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say what he said, but I heard what he said. I said she's taller sitting down than she is standing up. Got some serious junk. Those, are, I, those people fascinate me. <laughs> you mean digits? <laughs> 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 
those people fascinate me. He can grab you know, his chin. There was, there was I'm a, very fascinated there was a by thing short in Florida, people. There's a thing in Florida called midget tossing that had to get outlawed by a like, okay. like metal outlaw. Unfortunately, the problem there is Florida. <laughs> you know, that's what I'm saying. Is obviously Florida. Okay. So There's also laws they in had the midget mines. tossing as like. A here we get crack it, Florida culture. It's it's like a bar thing. Like they literally, throw the, the crime balls. rate of America would go down twenty percent if we just got rid of Florida. No, we don't have to get rid of Florida. Florida's gonna sink on its own. So we you know, when wait. you were saying Blake Shelton lives in a cave, I was imagining like Hobbit, the Goblin King, that <laughs> wait, lives six in the mountain. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> six foot five Blake Shelton with a but goblin. It, can you imagine? Like, I can imagine Let's say you're a caver, right? This is some descent type stuff. You need in it's there. It's the Goblin no, 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 no. <laughs> You have to squeeze through like a bunch of crevices, and you're down in there. <laughs> no, 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 off in the distance. <laughs> they don't even know. No, 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 no. Just near, 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 near. He yeah, plays like a car. Unfortunately, all I was picturing was like you, you follow the music and he's got like a comfy little chair and he's just playing his guitar, singing about his life. Well, like, how? You want the wisdom? Devil went down to Georgia. The devil. I was picturing something more like you squeeze through a crevice and then you like round a corner and shine your light and then you just get like power rushed by Blake Shelton. I'm pretty sure he plays football. He eats you. I'm pretty sure Blake Shelton's like a fish. No, he doesn't even eat you. He just the Wendigo myth is, is you or, the, or sorry, I shouldn't say myth. Uh, puts you on a puts you on a pipe. Uh, no, people. <laughs> there's still Native <laughs> Americans <laughs> that believe it, so it's a religion, really. So I shouldn't call it. No, it's the not. Wendigo okay. folklore is? creature. Last time I checked, is just based off of Blake Shelton. <laughs> How old is Blake Shelton? Yeah, when was this man born? I want, I want to see records of his birth. He's like 35. 1345. He's, he was oh, born see, like the age. Yeah, no, show me his, his uh, birth certificate. Oh, wow. He was he, born in 76. Actually, you know wow, the you're Jersey right. Devil? You know the Jersey Devil? No. Blake Shelton. <laughs> Freaking mad genius, bro. I'm looking up Blake Shelton and Jersey mad. Devil in the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just going to look up his, his Blake, Blake Shelton. Blake Shelton. A uh, Wendigo. Or the Wendigo? Or uh, Wendigo. a Wendigo. Just Google, has Blake Shelton ever murdered a man? Um, he replied to a tweet by the New Jersey Devils on Twitter. <laughs> We're getting links it's here. It's a sign. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh well, that's kind of weird that it's already popped up, but okay. <laughs> yeah, well, the only options were Wendy's or Wendigo. Is there, yeah? is there a Blake Shelton copy poster? No, there is. <laughs> In the he case. looked up, is Blake Shelton a Wendigo? And the there first thing that came up is Blake Shelton's Wikipedia page. And his so, song, his song that's called kind of Classification right. Cryptid. <laughs> classification. <laughs> classification. <laughs> classification. <laughs> classification. Yeah. Legendary creature. What it is, is, is Blake Shelton breach containment. We're not safe. Oh, shit, he just had three wives. He, he ate wall. all of them. He's still dating Gwen Stefani. Married. What? Yeah, Gwen Stefani. Yeah. So okay, so when you say Gwen Stefani, famous Sifani, pop singer Gwen Stefani no, is no, no, married no. to famous country singer slash monster Blake slash slash, slash Native Blake. American legendary creature Blake Shelton. I'm not gonna lie to you when uh, when you said Gwen Stefani, <laughs> I imagine that one guy, like the the meme guy. Oh yeah. Um, Carl Stefan or whatever his name was. Oh, Stephenson. Stephenson, yeah. Oh, wow. The mean guy. Rolling Stone referred to him as one of country's music's uh, Rolling Stone report, referred to him as a terrifying beast in well, the underworld. <laughs> Rolling Stone reporter I mean, uh, referred to him as a ravenous creature <laughs> of yeah, hatred and pain. The last <laughs> His new Shut album releases soon. <laughs> His new album releases soon, and it's all names like <laughs> me and my wife, <laughs> my two beers, no, crunching bones, ate my teeth. No, it's yeah, just like uh, it's like Look, demon growls. The last thing I ever, <laughs> that was the last thing our Rolling Stones reporter said before he went missing in 2011. It's like in Hebrew yeah. but backwards. He, 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 he like blackmailed all the people to put him in the Oklahoma Hall of Fame in 2014. He what? That's what? What? We have a Hall of Fame. We, why? Was he, he was blackmailing to put himself in, or yeah. was he blackmailing the ones who put him in? What has he done for country music? Uh, he actually has made a lot of country yeah, music. He's, he's Name like one song. Uh, I don't listen to country music. So I, love exactly. country. I don't either, but I, I can probably name Toby Keith song. Song. I look, you want to see who's I all... forgot Toby Keith was a person. No, where's the guy who's Toby Keith's daughter lives down the street. Robert. 
<laughs> Do we need to cut that out? No, what? <laughs> Nothing. Let's move on. You okay. said rob her. I mean, it's not a big I think deal. You mean what I thought borrow? you were going to say is a lot worse than what you actually said. Is it right? You, you went ahead and said it. You went ahead and said it out loud. But now we got to cut this out. This is just what turns into a federal crime. Cut out your heart. Exactly. Instead of cut that clip out, we're going to just Blake Shelton. What's that, what's that thing where like, the guy just rips his heart out? We're going to sacrifice you to Indiana, Blake Shelton. Indiana Jones. Yeah, yeah, you're, yeah, we're gonna take you up to the mountains and sacrifice you to Blake Shelton. We're gonna force you to look at the Ark of the Covenant. <laughs> oh no! And his head. We're gonna also hold you down and open the Ark of the Covenant. And you're gonna have to watch. Blake Shelton is the one who can actually look at it. Who was the guy at the start of the? Would you would you explode or melt like wax? <laughs> I would Wizard of Oz like like witch like. Or do it. I think because of my whole yeah. mindset. Oh, just like would general. you would you? Because the three people, the three people, uh, I, the three I, people we saw. Get like destroyed by the Ark of the Covenant. One aged rapidly, one melted like wax, and one just blew up. Which one do you think Isaiah would? No, I think with I me, would melt. I know I would be a new one. I would get really big and purple like a gobstopper, and I would just you would off. just get vacuumed like, like, into like the, the Ark chick of the from Covenant. Willy Wonka, yeah, she exactly. Into a blueberry, you, basically, you just like this wrong movie. <laughs> no, my hair just turns to black, and I walk off. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Jack Abernathy. Who? Jack Abernathy? I don't That's know. That's the why. old man from a haunted house. It's some U.S. Marshal, but he's in the Oklahoma Hall of Fame. Nah. But I don't see the guy who started the Tulsa Rice Rise in here, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I say, uh, you know, there's a borderline between funny, dark jokes and just worrisome. Like, what the hell? <laughs> just, like, messed up. <laughs> And and uh, you've crossed the line at I, least three I, times. I, I think he's trying too hard. Right? You've crossed the line three times. That's you know the what the Tulsa care. race rights were, right? Did you see the... You, you do know that? they aren't actually races, right? <laughs> <laughs> Did you no, see how they, they were represented in the Watchmen TV show? The, literally the entire town just in flames and explosions <laughs> everywhere. Well, people did series. drop bombs from well, planes. They dropped kerosene. Oh, look. It probably just, didn't they're ignite. just having a bring smoke test. Oh, it was like... Kerosene is flammable. Yeah, but it didn't catch fire. They're just throwing it like in Tulsa buckets. Tulsa didn't burn to the ground like it did in the show. <laughs> they didn't drop <laughs> last time bottles I, last of time kerosene. They like were on fire. Okay, that's two whole buildings blown up. Three whole buildings blown up. I can burn down more buildings than that. Not all of Tulsa. Yeah, no, not like literally that the entire city of like Tulsa. That looks like a whole city like city block. I'm going to tell you, like you what year this happened. That's Ann neighborhood. What year this happened? This happened in 1921. Tulsa was like four houses. Mm -hmm. It also was not that big in 1921. That is... <laughs> okay, look, look. That is an neighborhood. <laughs> that's why it was, that's why it was the capital then, yeah. right? Right? It was... A He's agreeing with Mustina now, even though Mustina just proved him wrong. I mean, that's where they still live, but yeah. Yeah, well, that's where you see all those huge mansions, even bigger than the OKC by the Capitol area. What are you doing, Josh? Some of these are were bent. He's starting the war chant to summon Blake Shelton. <laughs> Some of these are bent. See, look, look, these ones are bent in. Can you be here and Google back. Blake Shelton's kill count? <laughs> yeah, 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 I got you. This all started because I met Blake Shelton. I think at a, at, at caves. He just said, I met Bullock Shaden in a mountain range full of caves. So, so I assume he's some sort of goblin creature. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what is Blake Shelton's kill count? You ever oh, seen The Hobbit? Bringing up he's the goblin king. Yeah. Bringing up Blake like Shelton is absolutely Yeah, so we, we figured out the Jersey Devil Fred, and the Wendigo uh, mythos are all based off of Blake Shelton. Yeah. He's worth 60 million? Yes. Yeah. He's worth? Right. 60 million. Sounds like we need a ransom mission. He could literally oh, he's no. buy you. Meat eating all of skin New Jersey. walker, the Wendigo, right? Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty much. Native American. And also oh, the Jersey. Incarnate. And, so, and looked, also looked, the Jersey death. I looked up Blake Shelton kill count and it brought up Earl Thomas's death and his brother's death in 1990. <laughs> he, he ate them. <laughs> he just ate them. How are you looking at I was Ed Sheeran's network? Because I want to look at Ed Sheeran's net worth. Ed Sheeran Why? What's Ed Sheeran's coke handle? <laughs> Ed Sheeran can't even hurt a fly. He's too kind. It doesn't matter. He doesn't have to. Not that he's too to kind. He just physically can't. <laughs> he wants he's, to. He's bound at the soul. He has a blood pact. He's he a can't. creature of hate, but he can't. <laughs> <laughs> Nope. He's like Bugs Bunny. The so only what thing I want to know is like Ed Sheeran is Bugs Bunny. No, listen. Ed Sheeran like to write a lot of love songs, right? <laughs> Who's in love with Ed Sheeran? <laughs> um, 
basically just brought up a guy who had the same, like, Sheeran name, who killed 25 people. <laughs> We've got it wrong. We he mixed said, up Blake Shelton and Ed Sheeran. The it, reverse. Ed, Ed Sheeran kill count wait, is such vicious yeah. killings, 25 people. Hold on, wait, wait. Sheeran <laughs> is an Irish surname. Notable people with the surname, surname include Frank Sheeran Frank and Sheeran. Ed Sheeran. That's so one of, the, one of them had a, a labor union and the other was a murderer. Uh, the guy, the guy <laughs> you don't know which is which. Uh, no, the guy who had the labor union was also the mobster that killed 25 people. Oh, well, that's actually... Uh, yeah. So, yeah, just a labor union. Just a normal labor That's just, yeah, no, what year is this? A labor union? A below union? average labor union. Labor do you know union? what a labor union is? No, look, this is what it says. Labor oh. unions do not kill. In fact, they probably Most have, like, of them kill. Oh, monthly listen, listen, meetings listen listen about killing. Labor union talk. official accused of having links to organized crime and of being a hitman. I can't think of one labor union that wasn't involved with the mafia. Exactly. I'm, I actually, I can't think of one labor union that didn't involve mass death. Like, like, okay, we're on different things here, but yeah. <laughs> that might be the only thing the news Although, so. maybe, no. like, okay, no, no, no. fires and cholera have a lot to do with that, though. I'll show you cholera. Oh, no, I, Please, uh, uh, I mean, honestly, it's too late. Water? I've already seen cholera. I looked death in the face and I laughed. And he gave you cholera? <laughs> no, cholera Josh was death. Colorado. He gave you the cool. <laughs> cholera. When he met Blake Shelton, he caught cholera. <laughs> <laughs> he emits it like radiation. Blake Shelton Blake took a swig from his whiskey bottle and just, just like, pointed at me, and I instantly got color. Yeah, no, he just spit it in his teeth. He spit, he, just, he spit the whiskey between his teeth like a snake shooting venom <laughs> right into Josh's eyes. No, he just had he just had the whiskey bottle like on, a Dilophosaurus like just belt. Like Josh gazed at Blake, Blake Shelton and didn't uh, immediately uh, melt away, so he received Colorado as a gift. Blake Shelton is like the Dilophosaurus instead of the frill on the Dilophosaurus. He opens his coat and went. Spit in my eyes. Bro, I'll definitely let Blake Shelton give me a hug. <laughs> giant he teddy bear. points at you and suddenly you feel Colorado come over your ownership. The Why deed not? appears in your back pocket. Honestly, Colorado is cool and all. It's a really good state. I love Colorado, but what's it there for? Uh, uh, well, we you own mountains. my half-sister, my half-brother, my brother-in-law, and my nephews. Which is already and, done. And to be the healthiest state, which uh, Colorado is the healthiest state in the U.S. Is it? So, yeah. I mean, you have because the, the theory. Is, I, 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 I know it's not us. Sick dies. No, no, we're like one of the least healthiest. But the theory is, if you have such a beautiful state like Colorado, why would you want to stay? I think we're like in the top forever. five of like most Isaiah. obese in America. Yeah, yeah. Dude, like, we're seriously. like most obese, most sick, most. I think we're like right behind Texas. I think Isaiah, Texas is no the one worst is education in Colorado because if you're sick, you die. You're free. They push you outside in the cold. Dump you off on the, uh, on the bears, mountain. The bears the have tracking thing. implants that tell Blake them where sick people are. The <laughs> Blake Shelton. <laughs> they throw you to the Blake, Blake Shelton one. crevice. Blake Shelton goes and kills Elvis. And he's just he's waiting Colorado. up there. Like, <laughs> you, guys, you guys have that scene in 300 where they're all, like, all those skeletons. And that's just Blake Shelton's house. <laughs> <laughs> like, you just dump a body and he walks out from behind a tree or something. Like, like, like a flag or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When, when, when there's a murderer like who throws a bunch of bodies to boars, he's with them on all fours yanking and tearing. You know the other Blake scene? Shelton also listens to the complete soundtrack of the in the background. You know the other scene of 300 where all the Spartans are pushing the Persians off the cliff? That's also in Blake Shelton's house. Yeah, they push yeah. him in directly in Blake Shelton's mouth. His arm just extends and he goes, Blake Shelton, is, Blake Shelton is, is just playing. Blake Shelton is playing you alive while Stahl is playing in the background. He's <laughs> no, Wonderwall is playing as he's <laughs> Wonderwall. <laughs> Blake hey Shelton now. listens to Wonderwall on repeat. Is that Wonderwall? What? Just imagine getting flogged to Blake Shelton's music. Now, imagine being pegged to Blake Shelton's music. I, I can't <laughs> stop. I don't know that That's song, okay. but I do know Wonderwall. That was officially too Two days is going to be the day that I think she already knows that. Do you? That's copyrighted. Hey now. That's Bye copyrighted. now. You should have sung. Third grand. Wow. It's a large prize for two. two. Now I have to cut this all out. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Well, yeah, you you, you do out. understand that people will sing the song so who, they can't get copyrighted. Who wrote that song? Who did write that song? It was one of the guys from this band called Oasis, which is a dumb name for a band that's not in the desert. If Oasis sues yeah, us, I'm they're from it. England. There's no Oasis in England. You guys, England you guys know what on Instagram? I've been copyright struck twice by Nickelback. No, no. deserved it. I'm serious. No, Gallagher. You think you could compare to Nickelback? It says it's <laughs> oh, you from you into it. yeah. You think Blake I Shelton even, has. I don't power? even know how to pronounce that name. Blake so Shelton. I don't care what you I'm, no, I'm being completely serious. Like three of my posts are banned in most countries. 
The entire time. We yeah. found three of the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Ed Sheeran, Blake Shelton, and Nickelback. Nickelback's like a cult. Wait, wait, which one are we missing now? The, the famine? Nickelback is pestilence. Uh, okay. Alright, the fourth horseman. Fa- a famine is... is uh, Ed Sheeran. And, 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 and uh, Blake Shelton's just death. No, Blake, no. I Blake Shelton is death. No, Danny DeVito is death. No, 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 no. Danny DeVito doesn't kill like any... A, Danny DeVito mass Danny, heals Danny people. Danny DeVito's our arch It's gotta be just like yeah. somewhat well-known singers that are still somehow not popular. I can see Taylor Swift being war. No, Kanye West is war. Well, no, 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 no. No, Blake Shelton would be pestilence Eminem because is Blake because Shelton is the Wendigo. Wendigo is a, a symbol of disease as well. It makes sense. So Blake Shelton would be pestilence. Um, Ed Sheeran would be famine. <laughs> no, death, obviously, because he killed 25 people. Yeah. Right, right, right. So, yeah, Ed Sheeran is death. He viciously murdered 25 people. And, uh, Nickel- and, Nickel- and Nickelback, Nickelback is famine, famine because he now, takes down all of your fa- your stuff, just what, like what's, what's crops. Pestilence? War. No, that was Pestilence war? is Blake Shelton. Eminem. No, no, no. no. War. So I, think, I think war is Kanye West. No, no, no. no. I think because I remember when he rushed on stage and Taylor Swift. Who are the guys who started He passed down the mantle. What? At one point. Yeah, there you go. George Bush. <laughs> Which one? The the one during the George during, W. Bush or one, George H. W. Bush. Both. The the more recent one. The Bush. W. Bush. Yeah. That's the yeehaw. The one Remember that the iconic dead. video of George Bush like playing golf yeah. and <laughs> saying something, and he's like, "Now watch this draft." <laughs> like, either either him or Tiger. Call Woods. upon all nations <laughs> to lend their aid. We will stop these terrorist killers. <laughs> That's scary. Now watch this draft. <laughs> I think my favorite is like also also yeah. that when like <laughs> someone walloped, like I, when someone like slammed a book down or there was a bang or something and he just goes missed me. <laughs> that was Reagan. <laughs> Whatever. Was, same was, was same person. Right? Yeah, I think it was Reagan in Germany. Pop. And Reagan went missed me. Okay. Yeah, he was like. In, that means uh, really it's the same person, uh, honestly. He was like, a, um, like, like doing a thing. Oh, okay, now we're actually going to talk about Teddy Roosevelt. <laughs> I was yeah. like, what the? Yeah. If you combine miss both me. of them and throw in a little bit of like God, you get Teddy Roosevelt. You don't get funny if he said, okay, miss okay. me, and he just like drops dead. <laughs> <laughs> miss me, and he's like face the Obama Obama. Oh, my favorite. The my Obama favorite Nama video Nama ever of all time. Is that what you just said? <laughs> if, I could nominate, Nama if I could nominate my favorite picture, it would be Doge. If I could nominate my favorite video, it's a it's a video of Obama. He's got a coffee cup. He drops the coffee cup. He looks down. He looks up at the com- camera and he goes, "Thanks, Obama." What's your favorite George W. Bush one? I think no, I like is, the video of Obama my, kicking the I door think, down after the press oh, yeah. conference. I like Obama dunking on some people. My favorite face. picture has got to be that one of Robert Downey Jr. where he's just like... <laughs> I keep my favorite that part about Robert Downey Jr. is how he's a professional dancer, but all he does is this. <laughs> that's all they taught him. Yeah, it's, it's because he doesn't need to know anything else. He already has like millions. Literally, he got addicted to drugs. That's he became why. a professional dance uh, dancer, and, and then yeah. he became a movie actor. And then he became like one of the biggest movie actors. In and the and world. still, Something after simple. being spending years training in dance, all, this is all he does. Well, the reason he only moves one hand is because he was on drugs like he was training. <laughs> yeah, he remember his left arm is actually limp. He has to wear an exoskeleton to move it. The Iron Man, the Iron Man suit is real. Yeah, that's real. Yeah, that's how he lives. <laughs> Every time he does this. A child is still born. <laughs> <laughs> Blake show. He's the antithesis to Morgan Tony's Robin. Robert Downey Jr. is war. Yep, there you go. Whenever he sneezes, another country goes to war. That's why Syria is in hell. He has allergies. Visited his cave and he decided to test you. <laughs> he gave you cholera. Are you are you the emissary of Blake Show? I'm his avatar. <laughs> What the hell is the I'm Silver Surfer again? What is he called? The Herald. He's the Herald, the Herald of Blake Shelton. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Herald Pestilence. I am, I am the deity's avatar. I am Blake Shelton's avatar. Uh, yep. The doer of his... Bye! This is fucking horrible. <laughs> so he decides to channel his power through you. And you just, like, he caught fucking in a, cholera. You start talking in a southern accent. Like, 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 his eyes go black and he's like... When I was just a young boy, we all <laughs> you fucking. You know I want to get a GoFundMe and raise like one hundred fifty thousand dollars to pay to have Gordon Ramsay come to Oklahoma. We'll sleep deprive him for like three days, and we'll all cook a dish for him and have him be as really mean as possible. So I
I just want to see how he breaks this down individually. I don't think he'll agree to the sleep deprived part. Yeah, he will. Against the in our constitution, a very illegal. What? What? No cruel or unusual punishment. I'm not punishing him. He's going to go to sleep and I'm going to start screaming in the room next to him. What we can do is just book him a flight. From London to Shanghai, and then, then turn back around to and go straight to Oklahoma. <laughs> and as soon as he gets off the jet, it starts. Yeah, yeah there we go. Sleep They're deprived, and we didn't even do anything. anything. All of our food has been anything. contaminated by jet fuel, uh, <laughs> and, like smoke from the landing. There's okay. a kicker. You, See, thought, no, it that's, 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 that's you right. thought it was you thought it was Oklahoma food, but it was no, actually it was just whatever we could find. <laughs> it was on the plane with you the whole time. I think I've seen. I brought you some happy things. No, he gets on the plane to go from London to Shanghai, right? But then back. Up to somewhere in Russia and then back down to Australia and then from Australia back to America. But the whole time he's collecting food from the plane. Right? And then he gives it and to us. And then as soon as he lands in America, so we get the food lunch, like from the plane, oh, and, we have, so we, have like and we have to make you food think you using that. Rip, what is this rip, chopped like airline with a bunch of Oklahoma TV? What the hell is this? And I just like, I chopped up the peanuts and like just held it over the warm jet engine to toast them. Or or even better idea. We cook for him with only things we find from the forest outside I, where we're I, would, I was going to say that, actually, because I would do great in oh, that Oh, so we're taking him to, like, a log cabin. Or right in what have you made for me today? <laughs> really like, sir, it's a moss, <laughs> moss water soup. <laughs> and what? And it's a moss water and a pot. We're just soup. taking him to my house. No, I can make a mean rat soup with antler broth. This <laughs> is us, and some moss water when you get thirsty. Ooh, yeah. bro, so you, want moss some, broth. you want some crow with moss I water? Imagine, I just imagine you squeezing the moss. And no, 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 no. I'm wringing out the opossum because I was like, I fed it moss for days. <laughs> did, you, did you see the crack? It's been filtered. Yeah. You know what would be even better? If he loved it. Yeah, if it was like, <laughs> no, if he, he took a bite and he was like, he just starts foaming at the mouth. He's delicious. He foaming at the mouth. His eyes you start, you start twitching. He's like, yeah. did you make this? <laughs> Which one of you made this? And he's like, I want you to come to pick a store you want to work at. Any one of my restaurants. I'll give you any position. They have bagels with their bagels. Or, like, funny. Or, and then here's another restaurant. Here's the twist. He has to yeah, guess with yeah. one of us made they, it. Yeah, okay, no, so as I'm ringing out the opossum, all you hear is... Menu, if, I don't yeah. think it's, <laughs> it's funny you guys like talking like about it, because I had a dream last night about being one of Gordon kind of Ramsay's top chefs at one of his restaurants. And, <laughs> and it was so... <laughs> how did that go? I had a dream that my girlfriend goes to me. I was so happy with my life. I went to a friend's culinary. There's so many mushrooms at my house that we could kill Yeah, yeah. And when he turns... Now what? I think the worst... I think the worst thing I've ever eaten was me and Ben Vegemite. caught a turtle, and we, we killed the turtle, and we were going to eat the turtle, and we're cooking the turtle meat. And turtles are really weird to cook, because I won't get into they it. They weren't the endangered ones. Maybe it depends also on They weren't the endangered ones. ones. They're actually like invasive. Like the southern part of Germany and, um, would pronounce it. Turtle meat is they're kind, of, they're <laughs> kind of complicated. They're Australian. And so yeah, Ben so like, was cooking I know, like, it. I went to the house, and I came back, and he had fallen asleep. Yeah, but I know what you're And it was charred to a crisp. Yeah. Of course he also ate it. Right? I, I, I walked over and I took a bite and it was literally just charcoal. Yeah. And I was like, and I just, my teeth just went through it and I, I spit it out and I was like, and it turned to dust in my hands, a little piece you of ate, meat. You ate charcoal dust. And I was like, wow, I can't believe what they murdered been in this. Oh, yeah, it really oh. depends on where you're from. Sure. Slush, but we, or we could do it like this like, instead like three of Gordon Ramsay judging us. We bring in someone else to, to, but I also to eat knew, the like, food, and then Gordon Ramsay like, has to help one us. Village to the next. Because while sleep like, deprived, and we was have like, to get our own ingredients. Hey, but he cut the chicken Like, you guys are like five miles apart. So, sleep deprived Gordon Ramsay. And I was just like, colloquial. Oh, I'm seeing it. <laughs> could you imagine? Have their own could you imagine how angry he would be at the very last dish? He's gone through all this, and he's like, "Just bring me the last one." And I'm like, "I didn't have enough time, so here's a plate of unpopped popcorn." And he's just like, he's just like. Are you he's, the with me right he's, now? he's just like takes a single bite and he's just like, I'm not happy. No, he doesn't even take it. You doggy! Start smashing plates. Go, at that That's point, Gordon Ramsay yeah, wouldn't even eat it. Yeah. No. No, he, would, he, would just, he would just be like, kernels, all right? he, would, he would look at it and then just drop the plate on the floor. Yeah. He'd be like, you take the first bite. <laughs> He's like, you make sure it's not poisoned, you eat your own food. <laughs> we should just yeah, but I, I like the idea that you got a bunch of judges right. But Gordon Ramsay has to help you with your limited That's cooking experience and 
getting food from outside. That we have like a lot of sleep. We get like a, we get a, like a panel of like, like known to be ultra mean judges, and we have Gordon Ramsay cook all of our dishes like just him. And then we pretend that we cooked it, and they're all like, "It's terrible! It's garbage! It's the worst thing I've ever eaten." Gordon Ramsay then Gordon walks out, out, and he's like, "Then you will make me food." It's just it's just Simon Cowell these days. <laughs> I was oh. thinking of like him, like Gordon Ramsay watching us go out into the forest to get our food. But, like he doesn't go with us. He just, you just like, turn and walk back to his plane, like a shotgun, and then like us come back with like rats and crap. <laughs> <laughs> just, like a, a coyote carcass. <laughs> we come back and one of us is missing. Hey, a pack of the us. Only... <laughs> a pack of us versus like two packs of coyotes. Okay. The only like problem with doing no, I'm gonna go with the coyotes. Though. I'm gonna go with is, Rain. Is, um, <laughs> He's gonna be the I'm gonna go with Rain. <laughs> there's a, there's, I'll have to show you a point in my property, but there's an entire point that you can't go on, or at least you can't shoot anything on it, because, because it's literally private and owned by the state because there's an endangered bird that lives in it. He would love that. Gordon like one bird. That. One type of bird. Oh, that's super bird. endangered. That you know lives what it there. Is? No, like we, no. You know, we walk into the know. forest and there's like people like two shotguns. Then he hears like one shot as soon as we're out of like eyesight, and then we come back with like a bunch of dripping dodo. meat, and one of us is missing. <laughs> and he's just like, "What? Where's Brick?" And we're like, "He's still looking for herbs." So sit down, Gordon. Herbs. We send sit down. We Gordon. send we're that monster and, like we talk the shotgun to make kills. <clears throat> then you guys go and gather like plants and berries, and stuff, which and is not it. how it should be. Oh god! I don't trust any of you with gathering anything from the forest, like, oh, like yeah, plant yeah. wise. Oh yeah, I'll taste test it first. You like, can go out and I'll get the plants. plants. Yeah, no. Yeah. I you guys know get the meat. My, I can be the guide because I know okay. the land. See, this is how a horror movie starts, and this is how we all die. To is it how to Gordon Ramsay? Please, please tell you me. You know, it ends with Gordon Ramsay hunting us in the woods. <laughs> I the one we're gonna write all with a cooking shows. show with all Gordon Ramsay as helping us make food. For I would, he gets, he and gets, we go out in the forest to gather. I would be surprised if they did movie. that on one of the scary. He movies. gets the plate of unpopped popcorn, and you can you just see like something snap, and he like looks up, it's and he like his his grabs plate, it's his and and Yeah, like, he, like he, all the veins on his face turns beet red, and he just like grabs brick, looks in the air, and snaps his neck. I got an idea. While we're hunting for the food, Gordon Ramsay's actively hunting and trying to kill us. Oh. No no no, 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 not even that, not even that. I'm we, out of my car real wait. fast, I'll be right back. Okay, Ooh, running, you should bring Max. Nah. I'm walking, I gotta take my car in. Will you neck him? Sensor, temperature sensor went hey, off. Can you like never say that again? What does that mean? Then the coolant was low. Bring, bring uh, Max. So, then, so like, who's gonna be here with uh, us? No, 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 listen, 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 listen. It was at minimum, below minimum. We don't leave so anything for Gord to do. But we leave all the tables and chairs folded up next to where we leave them. So, yeah. <laughs> He's just like, am I supposed to fucking yeah. set up where I'm eating? Then I didn't have to still. Yeah. But then I was like, better to There's like a single it. rock near him. We get a bunch then, of, like, Mr. Yeah. Beast, then, flat, get a bunch right? of random but also, volunteer people as the judges. Gordon Ramsay's here in the way. We cook the food, they judge it. They're like, wow, this is terrible. And then Gordon Ramsay comes out. He's like, no, you cook food. And then Gordon Ramsay and all of us sit at the judge table. So I'm going to go have it. Flush, and then like, what are our, what of our ingredients of list? And we're like, I don't know, I'm just gonna find it. I don't know, man. You got 30 minutes, you can out. drive to a store, you can drive to a store. There's, 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 the, there's the food right there. Yeah, yeah, that's what, that's like, just give me a vocabulary list. But it's better to get it in now and get a rental. And he's like, no, you're right. If they were to bring me some barrier reef, I would eat it. Look at 19. Yeah, I know, oral arms, I saw that. Or budding. An oral disc. Nah. It brings the whole <laughs> final. Oh, goes to Greek. Goes to like yeah. Greece and just kidnaps Medusa. <laughs> I was like, okay. She's like, I also like right. the idea. Like, <laughs> just an umbrella. I'm, I'm like, super <laughs> just an umbrella. Thing. Who else? What's another so like know known to be mean person we could bring on our show that immediately yeah. disappoint? Because it was sitting in a big yeah, thing, and I don't. Uh, he seems hard. too easy to disappoint. He's not mean enough. I've never heard him curse at somebody. I have. No, but like. Steve. I have a. Steve Harvey. He's so definitely. Like, we bring Steve Harvey on there, and I'm like, why is your uh, daughter dating so many rappers? And he punches me in the head. Now it's like a oh, so we just be no. racist to him until okay. he gets mean? So, no, what? But I was like, well, you said, we you bring in a bunch of like. Because his daughter's dated like nine rappers. Yeah. Oh. If there's like step out of Juju. <laughs> We bring Can you imagine her. dating the daughter of Yeah, we all know how expensive uh, that Apparently is. nine rappers have to imagine that. Because nine hey, is I would, I would be bring in Mr. Beast. Yeah. 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 Gordon yeah. Ramsay replace yeah. a hose. Yeah. And then yeah. 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 Steve like, Harvey uh, and Phil Swift. And Howie Mandel. Those are the judges. Howie Mandel has to be judged. No, 
And they said and they those found are the lead, judges. So can we get, like, can we get no? Can we just bring the entire Obama right family there? and like, cook I for them? Away from it? No, I don't get it. Like, we, we have a guest show as a host, but that works too. And the compressor blows. We have we have a guest, and they help us. The Phil Swift spot is is a guest a guest judge each time. They did not charge me for labor. So one time we had Barack Obama as a guest judge. Wait, wait, wait! I don't have any show. No way, wait, Here's my idea. You know, here's my idea. Okay, we we do the Gordon Ramsay idea. Nothing else except for you know in the office when it's like they're like they'll sit down, they'll give an interview with the camera. It's like that, but it's a it's a one on one with Dr. Phil, and he asks us a question, and we don't even answer like coherently. He's like. How did you get in the cookie? And I'm just like, well, my father left yeah, when, I was, when I was young, at a very young age, and I, and I never really got over it. Saying, if you ever actually, you never I never really answered answer the question. You, you dodged the question. Dr. Phil answered I just talk about what I want to talk about. No, he just wouldn't. Like, Dr. Phil, he just gets so mad when interview. He's like, what, what the hell is wrong with you people? So actually what this is, is it's actually a prank show made by us. not more. So we cook yeah, for Gordon Ramsay, like and he gets right? and, yeah, and then, yeah, then, yeah, then yeah, the Dr. Bad. Phil interviews us, yeah, right? I also, and uh, no matter what uh, question uh, he <laughs> asks, you have to answer everything but that Mom's one question. What would you say that your inspirations were for cooking? Well, I was in Curacao swimming, and I got stung by a jellyfish. I asked my friend to pee on it. So and so it's like, peed on yeah, he peed all over the jellyfish and I said, no, he dug my leg. Everything that builds up to the actual answer, you can say that. It's ridiculous. No, then it just goes. By the end of the, oh of the God, series, like we're in a bowl with glass box, and he's just like punching his and we're trying to get in to kill him. That was so weird. I feel like the whole video, the first thing we should make is... That was Some, we all make like a smoothie and Holy see crap. if we can guess who's who. Yeah. Was like, well, but also, it's like Secret like, Santa, but with smoothies. Back to the Dr. Phil thing. Dr. Phil would immediately attempt to kill me because I would just be mean to him. He's a tall guy. No, no, no. He would be like, so what guides you to cook? I'm like, what happened to your medical license in 2007, doctor? Huh? Or is doctor even your real name? You're not even a psychologist. You just create problems. You fix them. What is your favorite dish to cook? So, like, you know how a basilisk Actually, lizard BW grabs has on water? <laughs> so, I, all of us give, like, genuine, <laughs> like, like, we dash the question, but it's, like, actual, like, yeah. stories. Raiden is just mean. With my mom's mean and Brick just, 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 just growls. Just at him. Just, no, no. He's just, just silent and, like, face. leaning forward is just, like. He <laughs> starts, starts drooling at the mouth. Yo, Brick just. I'm asking the questions here, doctor. Yeah. I missed this entire conversation. And Dr. Phil's sitting waiting for us in the chair and walk up behind How did we go? Dr. Phil. And we just like walk behind him and we're like, I'm asking the questions here. <laughs> doctor. And he's like, what? Dr. Phil just, okay. I just, just like, kind of like, like <laughs> restrain him with hands. Dr. Phil is just, just like, so. Uh, the first three times he's interviewing me, it's some random guy. Like, it's not even me. <laughs> <laughs> like he's not even affiliated with the show. Like, like, in, in one section, in one section, in one section, some guy that doesn't even look like like oh, you Lord, comes man. in and goes, taps you on the back, and is like, we're switching out. And it's then, just some black guy. He's like, hey, I'm tapping in. I'm like, all right, cool. And I get up and walk off like mid, like in Dr. Bill's like, what? <laughs> he looks like, but like he you. never comes <laughs> back again. Yeah. You you still come back for the next interview. That's yeah. just so like, that's just like a one time occurrence. We're just making the Eric Andre show. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. It's just the Eric Andre show, but only with Dr. Phil. The rest is us. Actually, could have been Gordon Ramsay. Dr. Phil's 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 no, you know how, like, in the interview, Dr. Phil's, like, papers of, like, evidence next to him, and he, like, picks it up to read. He, like, looks down, picks it up, looks back, and you're gone. It's like a different person. <laughs> or, like, we mess with his papers. So, like, he picks it up, and it's like, he flips it over, and it's just, like, a print of a squirrel. And he's like, what the fuck? <laughs> he, is looks this? Up, he looks up, and he's just raised gone. It's just a fucking squirrel sitting in a seat. And I, like, I'm just, like, holding a taser and pointing at him. I'm like, you're moved, doctor. <laughs> Check I, I, I imagine, imagine Doctor like, Phil like doing like a ask the doctor, question, doctor. Doing like a he Go like he, he like jumps Jesus up, does like a backflip over you, he, like, and just, like turns the around to like receive a file or something. And looks back, <laughs> and it's, like, two more people are sitting. There. Yeah, no, 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 there's two people <laughs> exactly like the side by side. But when he reaches up to grab it, just all wrote this picture. You know what I want to see? Or like we cut a hole in the table, and so he reaches like for a paper. There holding it. Yeah, no. we, we cut a hole in the table, so he reaches for it, and then like someone else's hand grabs his hand and yanks on the table, and then he's just like. <laughs> You know, I want to see, I want to see Steve Harvey. start violating his rights. Like, at first, right. it's... <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's go down the first time. I know, he's just in chains, The first, you know? okay, so but it's literally gets worse and worse. Phil. 
So it's it gets worse and worse. First it's Isaiah's, and like oh, Isaiah's, you have to just answer the questions, just like normal. But you start to get oh. weird slowly as your interview yeah. gets on, right? Then these two come on, they just go. avoid the question, right? I get on, right? I'm just sitting here, staring at him, just yeah. waiting. I want to walk like, in. He's asking questions, and I'm just like, just like. And you at know, the end of the interview, I'm just every like, are you going to ask a fucking question? I walk in, and I'm like a super nice, like, tuxedo with, like, a big, like, fake plastic flower. <laughs> yeah, I walk up, and I up squeeze and in, and it throws water in his face, and I sit oh, down, no. and I'm like, now that I've set the mood. <laughs> then he's just like, no matter so what he says, I just, like, I'm just mean. And so he's just like, so, um, what is your idea for the meal today? You think you'll impress Jordan? And I'm like, well, I'm not impressing Jordan. Yeah. You don't impress me. You never have, Mr. Phil. <laughs> I use Mr. because you are not a doctor. I just kind of like, you're less than a doctor. I just kind of like sit down and like kind of ask, answer the question, but like kind of avoid it while you, eating cat food. Yeah, answer, answer the question with a question. <laughs> not the, not, not, not okay. the hard drive. And then after all that, Robert, 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 Robert like, the last person, like, he's out of nice. the pack. He's no, yeah, no. Robert walks in soaking wet, but he just acts like he's normal and answers it completely normally. Like, he's the only normal one that he's just, like, dripping the entire time. Like, Papa John in his but, last interview. <laughs> she just mimics Papa John. At the end of it, you just look the him dead in the, the eyes. There's, like, ten second pause. You just look Dr. Phil <laughs> dead in the eyes, and you go, the day of reckoning will come. Can you hear oh, that? No. You just walk away. <laughs> you just walk away, but before the interview can end, the wall's, like, fake drywall and brick smashes. <laughs> can we, we smashes buy, through. can we buy, like, 30 of the same chair, but they get slightly smaller and we'll replace it every time his chair is ever so slightly smaller until he's, like, we struggling need to, to fit. We need just, like, someone to come in and he's, like, sitting there looking at this other chair and you're, like, hey, so, like, you're just sitting in a chair behind him. Yeah, so here's how it goes. There's okay. a pull-up doll with me. It's, like, super always in the chair. You're just gonna sit in there. So, I would hate so that. So, it's, it's literally, we cook for Gordon Ramsay with stuff we have find out fine, but in Splice between is the interviews. Yeah. So it starts. Yeah. The first interview is Isaiah. And Isaiah starts out fine, BDS. like asking, answering the questions. Yeah, like, right? no, like a normal person. But then it slowly gets weirder. It's so like every time it cuts right? back, it's just, it's just, it's just you staring the entire time. Yeah, no, I, I, just, I just. And then the second I, interview I just, I just is me, and, 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 and he's just asking questions. I'm just sitting here like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. We have to give him very explicit instructions, like Mr. Dr. Phil, do not break the role of Dr. Phil. Who's he doesn't answer, just keep asking. You give him a break to answer the question, doesn't answer, just keep yelling. Who's and, the then, and, then, and, then, and then it's you. Okay. And then it's Raiden. And then, and then it's Robert. Robert. And Raiden. Robert's actually, like, actually genuinely yeah, like, answering the question. Like Marshall, but like, he's drenched. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, at one point, Robert's like, oh my god, I don't not want this. Not, like, sweating. Like, he literally, like, jumps <laughs> oh in on the I know, like, the jumps in on the after football game. He'll dump, like, god, Gatorade after, on you. I mean, yeah, he, he just walks in and, like, a baby, like, seaweed wrapped around my ear. The final, the final interview is, is Briggs. Fair. And then the guy comes in, he's like, he's, okay, Dr. Phil, this is your last interview to the day. He's all relieved, right? He's very sensitive person. The, the wall just yeah. You just kind of ripped. No, 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 I was gonna say halfway through, halfway through, the wall, halfway through you know, like once Roberts is over, he gets up and he's like, "Thank you, Mr. Phil." And he shakes his hand, but he's like, "Squell." And he shakes his hand. And then as you turn to walk away, squeaky boots. You like pull him in. No, 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 like your drips and like drywall dust. See, and he's we like, don't let Dr. Phil know interview. any of this. Dr. Phil, he just thinks it's a regular thing. normal interview. Oh, no. right? So, <laughs> Dr. Phil is just As you're walking the psychologist is going to be Rick has one of those key. fake knives that's supposed to look like real, but it retracts in. Uh, and we have give you one of those blood packets on your shirt. Oh, I love <laughs> so, it. I love so it. He just like, like steps over right? your corpse and sits down. That and it's blood I love it. splatter I love and he drags you through the wall. That or like Robert walks chair. out like it's normal. We have like a little bit of room, like a little like, and it has like a wooden door, like a cheap wooden door, you know. And then it's like, all right, doctor, whenever you're ready for the next interview, we can start it because it's over for the day. And he's like, oh, thank God, okay, start it. And then like you hack through the door with a fireman's axe. <laughs> it was Johnny, bitch. And then like we all get in. And to you all you walk questions? in, sit down, and you're just holding the axe like ready to swing <laughs> the entire time. Like, to all of us, we have two of us. Like probably no, he's already interviewed. Come in and just back to the floor. <laughs> so I no, imagine, no, I imagine, no. like, it's like Rick sits legs, down. Legs. I have a wet rag and I'm just like washing the bottom of the chair. <laughs> like, Rick sits like, down. He soaks the set in. Lift your legs, Bruce. Lift your legs. goes, it's me. <laughs> no, like, like, Rick sits down. He sets the axe down. He, like, dusts it off, right? And then she's like stares just like, at him, right? With, like, a blank stare. And any time Dr. Phil asks a question, he's like... <laughs> 
Or like, like whenever he starts speaking, okay, so he's just sitting there sounding like Gollum. You just start like coughing. <laughs> he's, like, asking he's holding no, he's randomly. Just you just start you, like randomly like halfway through. You dig your fingernails and it's like, <laughs> oh, right. ooh, stop. No, no. Okay, so like he's talking, he sits down. We had like and, a like, fake table. Like, so, yeah, like, it sounds like this. Right, it just sits down and goes like blank pieces like. Like, eyes lax, cheeks gone, like, mouth slightly open. And every time that Dr. Phil says anything, he just, like, grips the axe a little bit tighter. <laughs> On the end of it, he's, like, shaking because he's, like, he's white. Like, like, he he, he sets cool. the axe down, but each time Dr. Phil asks a question, he inches closer to the axe. <laughs> So I like the idea. You see Dr. Phil like... I don't know what I just did, but my chest hurts. Okay. Am I having a heart like attack? Looking down at the axe. Are you... <laughs> okay, what are y'all doing? Back here, weirdos? I think I'm stroking. I like the idea of Rick like chopping oh, down the door know. with the axe, right? But like you know, like ancient Egypt where the slaves carry the like yeah. throne on their back. <laughs> no, no, no. I so, no, like I walk in, I kick in the door and stare at him. I turn around and then like we carry it, we carry Rick in like a lawn chair with like two two by fours tied to it. Yeah, and we set it down and we all bow and just walk out like. But we're all no, like, just you some, like Sparta some, kick the old hey, chair out like, of the way. There's like, some Scooby Doo or something. Yeah, there's some there random go. dude sitting next to Brick, and he's trying to tell a question. Brick turns and punches him in the nose. You know, I kick in the door. I kick, it, I kick in the door. I walk in, and I just start stomping on the old chair. I just like beat it to pieces. Like I break it. I take it. I throw it against the wall. Take it and throw it out the room. We walk out, and we carry it and break. And there's a random guy with a big bucket. And like he's just like it's like a sealed bucket. And halfway through the interview, he's like snap, snap, and pops up the top of the bucket and pulls up like a thing in grapes and just starts feeding it to Brick. Yep. <laughs> he's just like, there you go. it's like, profit. and we're gonna do yeah. this all of this with the budget of of 150k from GoFundMe. Oh yeah, he's, oh yeah. He's, the, the, hard, the, the hardest the thing is getting money. In, the bill. only money we need is to actually get the fee. Because the rest of this you can do in like four dollars. I have a two by four and lawn chair at home. Like, I, have the the I, have, I, have I have a great vine in my backyard. Why the fuck do you have a fake wall? I have multiple fire. Wait, Texas. wait, hold on, wait, wait. Why do you have a fake wall? Why would he not? For have this a fake exact wall? moment. No, when you replace drywall, you buy. He it, reenacted like, the cast of Amontillado yeah. with his sister. Wait, what? Just bricked her up in the wall. Like, uh, out. Yeah, so like, I'm like, what? I'm like sitting here like this, just staring at us. Every time he answers, and asks a question, and just no response. Halfway through, like I like reach the shirt and dra- oh, wow. grab out like a full size Snickers bar. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like you take a single bite and then you just like wrap it and put it back. No, you take a bite with no, the I, wrapper. I reach in. Oh, I that's horrible. In, I reach in, grab a Kit Kat without unpackaging. <laughs> that no, no, no. You reach in, pull the Kit Kat, and you're like, oh, and you sit in your lap, and you just keep pulling out candy, and you're like, you reach in the other hand, you pull out like a massive knife, and you're like, yeah, and you just like, like picking like your teeth it, with it. I grab out the the whole king size Kit Kat, still staring at it. Open it up, lay it out. Grab a full a full kukri out of my <laughs> kukri, right? You pull, no, I instead gag. of you know how the lines the lines on the Kit Kat are like this. Yeah. Yes. I cut it like this. <laughs> oh, that's the I cut it against the line. I eat the OCD block. And still <laughs> staring at him in the no. eyes. And then one you, block. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, then you didn't know you just like slam the cooker in the table and like Skrrr! and like knock it all off. So I was thinking like one of us should do is walk in and like reach in our pocket and pull out a snub nose revolver, and then like itch our head with it and just put it back in our pocket. And oh, like, I was just gonna pull out fuzzy handcuffs, and just, right? So I just put like, it on myself. No, no, you walk in with one fuzzy handcuff on your right? wrist, so and you have like, like smeared makeup all over your face, and you just sit down. And you're like, <laughs> I walk in as a, as a I had a singular cube of the Kit Kat. No, I should when I walk the rest in, on one of us needs to walk in like kick, wearing like back, a white right? tuxedo, but no tuxedo shirt. Oh, so, so it's like, like the jacket, it's like, oh, yeah, no, no, just no. the jacket. When I, when with, like, I walk in wearing my like, super nice tux, yeah, it, like a trailer parkish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, I'll walk in wearing super nice like dress clothes, you know. But oh, but like he won't know it until after I leave with him, you assless chaps. So I stand up and turn around, and he's just like, <laughs> oh god damn it! Like the entire interview, the floor, I'm just sitting there. Hey, the floor on mine, the floor is actually like one of those like. You know, like the mechanical things that use like work on electric yeah. bikes. Yeah, where yeah, it, like, yeah, yeah. Slowly yeah. Down. <laughs> and, and if you, you stare so at him, he just starts down. descending. <laughs> and then, like, like it's barely visible, uh, but by the end of the interview, I'm just like. <laughs> and then, like, <laughs> no, 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 no. He goes under the thing, and Mr. Dr. Phil's like, I'm trying to look down the hole, and I walk in, and I'm like, hey, how's it going? And I just, like, fall down the hole, and I'm like, ah! He's, he looks down the hole, and just sees assless ass. <laughs>
we have like <laughs> we have someone like your dad or something like cleaning a deer in the background. <laughs> like like he walks in and he sees like a single room and it's just like drywall two by fours holding it up and that's where he's gonna be interviewing and outside your dad is just, like skinning a deer like horribly like, he's just like every time it. a new person comes in for the interview you just like open it and you see him he's like further progressing through the skin. No, he I, like a, a like no, a bear Rick, but it's like Rick massive. is skinning it in no, the no, background. No, 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 yeah, it's Rick skinny and then he walks in wearing the skin <laughs> and he sits down like that. It's like still bloody. <laughs> so it's like, still dripping. No, no. So it, it's 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 a very thin drywall that I have. So he's just skinning the deer, right? And then the like the camera like pans and it's like the deer's gone, right? Oh, <laughs> no. It's through, through the drywall. Oh, you know you know what happens before Rick that though? Steps in through the hole. A random a random deer table, just appeared on the, the on set down. and it went outside and then you hear like like a deer like squeal or whatever. And then that's that. But yeah, like as we're doing like the Gordon Ramsay thing, we're like, we is get, that a deer? We get one of those guys around. We get one of those guys breaks into a sprint after with it off the deer. The we get one of those guys with a pet deer. We kill his pet deer. <laughs> we, no, don't, we, don't, we, no, we don't actually <laughs> kill him, right? Wow. But the deer yeah, walks we off screen and we see like Brick on the whole It's during it's during the last but it's it's right before Brick's interview, right? So it's I who is it before Brick? It's Robert. Yeah. So it's it's before Robert's interview. And we're all like presenting our dishes to to Mr. Gordon. And Gordon's eating it. He's like, This is fucking terrible. We hear like rumbling in the woods, we turn around and a deer runs out and Brick Brick just like takes off on all fours, like (laughs) off of the side of the screen. This is the first time Gordon's eating anything weird like this, and he's just like Oh yeah, that's, no, a, then, that's the first no, 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 time no, 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 Then during Robert's interview, he opens the door and through the crack of the door, you can see like you can see him like the deer is still struggling and he's just like holding he's it. Like, like, he's and the door, door, the door, like, door opens by itself. Robert <laughs> turns and looks out because you're supposed Real to be like the normal board. one. It just so happens to drench. Looks out, the cameras move and like zoom in. It's just Brick is just going. Yeah, Brick is just painting it. And he like then, she, then he looks shuts up. Shuts close. And he looks up and pulls the skin back over the deer and then like crouches behind like the body and then the door closes and, the and door then like slowly shuts. yeah then the next time like then when Brick's interview he walks in like again a pair of boxers some crocs <laughs> and he has like the deer pelt thrown over him so and he just like sits down with like the skull on top yeah, yeah. No, 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 but it's like the whole head and it's just like a full on like, <laughs> so to the side he's full on chieftain from like a yeah, yeah and then he's just caveman. like I alternate between wearing a cowboy getup and a bathrobe. <laughs> but like, I just you just randomly every, every, every time, time the angle. camera angle changes, you want to do it. Bro, this is such a good show. Like, ABCs. We should have <laughs> one interview <laughs> where one of us is in a mask, and then like we just take off the mask, and it's me. <laughs> You know, Instead of like, who we're supposed to be interviewing, I feel like, like when, uh, when I walk in, like no, drenched, right? right? <laughs> it's just Steve Harvey. <laughs> yeah, if Brick walks in, sits down, he's wearing a mask, and he's like, "Can you remove the mask?" And it's Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> I walk yeah, in he's just looking like really pissed. Yeah, he's just like, <laughs> no, no, why am I here? And he gets up and walks away. <laughs> so as I'm, sl- as I'm sinking down, right, eventually I get out of view, right? And when it comes back up, it's you wearing a Dr. Phil mask. <laughs> <laughs> that, like, you, then you go all the way down and you hear Gorham's like, let me out! <laughs> Donkey. Like as soon as the door opens, but yeah, no, I, I like the idea that I come up wearing a Dr. Phil mask. I'm like, I'm dressed like he is, but I'm like, so you want to tell me why you're here? You have like a chef coat on. You reverse, you reverse the roles, make him answer. Eventually, you take off the mask, and it's you. I feel like I should walk in right fully soaked, but I should have like a 100 kilogram ball and chain around my ankle. <laughs> you gotta like walk you're in, in here. You're in a no, just drag it. You're in my dude. fuzzy ankle. You're in a prison sound fit. My fuzzy. You know the other fuzzy handcuff around your other ankle. <coughs> you get a giant gash on your forehead that's still bleeding. It's like yeah, it's like dripping, but you're just like soaking. You sit down and you're the, the only normal one. Like, where'd you get that gash? From? Oh, just just some guy. He's like, I walked into a door. He's like, you'll see. He's the next interview person. He's the last one. He'll He's see. like, oh, yeah, yeah, no, I think he, I don't he doesn't, he doesn't say any of that. He just looks at Doctor Phil and then stares at the camera and says, <laughs> the day of Oh, you'll we'll see. see. You know, no, no. like, where'd you get that gash? He the camera and he's like. We all have secrets. <laughs> I we give have, myself gas on the I haven't been asking revealed. you any rude questions. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Phil, please, I think personal. And after after that, I just pans through oh, yeah, every so, little moment of our so interviews. I just sink down, right? You come up with the Dr. Phil mask. At some point, you take the Dr. Phil mask off, yeah, right? And I just walk in the door with like a bag of, like a family-sized Doritos. I'm like, 
and then you leave, right? And you have to walk I sit away. back down, and I just go back to just staring <laughs> around. <laughs> and and, like and during this, like, his mom just comes in, like, can you lift your legs? Yeah. I like the idea, you know, like, I don't feel, no, 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 during Robert's. <laughs> During Robert's interview, it's like halfway through, it's normal. Then somebody walks in and starts vacuuming, and Dr. Phil's like, So, how did you end up on the show? <laughs> no, no, that should be his ears, because like Isaiah, instead of like getting weirder as he talks, everything else gets weirder, he stays normal. Yeah, I just say, he's, no, he's just answering the things normal, but slowly more sounds come in. At first, it's a back, so there's thing, dogs barking, there's and like, then there's, there's a back, him, him being feral, then there's construction out outside. One thing I kind of want to do, but it might kill me. I don't think I want to do, but it might kill me. I want it part of it. I want like the ceiling tile to get moved out of the place really gruffly. Like someone's like, uh, <clears throat> and someone like ganks it on above me, and like a, a noose lowers, and I just put it in under my neck, and then it raises, and I just get like <laughs> lifted out of the room like that, and then like the ceiling tile gets moved back over, and then they never see me again. Like for the rest of that episode. I think this would be a great you, like, idea. You really, like you're still talking you about pitch Mr. Phil. Pitch it to, pitch right, it to Netflix. Netflix. I don't know, I'm Guys, <laughs> this would be a very good Netflix original series. You gotta contact. You gotta con- how do you contact that? Like Twitter. No, you, you, you email the people. I'll, I'll do it. We got an offer you can't refuse. <laughs> ed, ed, edit this and just put like us talking about it. I'll email that to them. I mean, what's Gordon Ramsay doing these days? Nothing important. That's for sure. His kids, like six his kids are like grown up. You know. Actually, Hell's Kitchen is coming back. So I yeah, really? yes. yeah, that's epic. <laughs> we'll get someone else then. Huh? Well, we could just like bring in other so, random celebrities I mean, it and cook for them. We, so it doesn't wait, have Steve to Harvey. be a cooking show. It could literally be each time it's a different celebrity. So a we, celebrity, and we mess with them the in different ways so. each time. time out. We do this thing, right? With Gordon Ramsay. And then, like next episode of the new Hell's Kitchen, he's like looking more pissed than normal. And then it <laughs> turns out like three of the contestants are us. <laughs> <laughs> like you just keep speaking into shows with Gordon Ramsay on them, and it's like. <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna email that. As soon as I finish the family starts dad's and Doritos, right? And I crumple it up. And I just look at it like this, and I'm just like, Are you fucking asking me questions? Yeah, are you gonna ask me questions? This whole time he's been asking questions. He's just like, Dude, I, I'm waiting. Are you gonna ask me a question? I want, I want an episode to be like up in the like in the. Like, we gotta do like obviously a different location. I know each time. exactly who's gonna take this. MTV would love this. Oh my god, are they still a thing? Comedy MTV? Central. Central. Oh, no, but, Central. but we gotta have like we gotta have one. We gotta have Steve-O on there, right? Steve, oh, no. And beforehand, I'll be like, Steve-O, have you watched any of these episodes? And he'll be like, Yeah, I know what I'm in for. And I'm like, All right, just know because you're Steve-O, we might get a little bit like violent towards and you. And then I come up behind him. <laughs> this this is why you signed the paper. Yeah, you know, signed. And then, and then I come up behind him with like a, a couch. Cow prod and yeah. just go, and like we should have like a camera and he's like where's the camera bro and I'll be like no it's a security camera up there and he looks up it's a security camera and it has like a mounted gun underneath it and it's just like aiming at him the entire time. No, I come in I come in with a stack of papers and I say that gun is locked onto your current position. If you say any of these activation words, it's gonna dart it you. It will fire. It's you like, say the first <laughs> one and, like, and, and it's firing. and it's it's <laughs> all of the adjectives. <laughs> it's just the script. It, no, it, no, it's just the script we gave him. My name is. It's just every single noun in the English language is a trigger word. God. No, 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 no it's, it's not even like the trigger words. It's just some guy with like a little button. And he's just like, not be a good time. But he like, sometimes Steve is silent and just like shoots it's him in the chest like dark. Have you guys seen the Eric show? Yeah. The yeah, Jack yeah. Black in there? Yeah. yeah. The it's a lie detector and it's just some random Asian guy in the background with like a... a a remote that's just painting yeah. each time he has I want one of the like, like the first words on the list to be um or, uh, <laughs> or yeah just like um uh, the list is the list is four words um hi and and then, then it just says parentheses and, uh, breath <laughs> Then the parentheses, so like, just, no, like stars. Any word no, no, that starts English. with the letter S. No, the parentheses, <laughs> English language. <laughs> no, it is like, before we start the interview, it's like, do you speak like any other language besides English? And he's like, uh, a little bit. And we're like, alright, that's gonna help you. <laughs> we sit it down and we're like, we try to like, get it's it not a real gun, it's a, it's a paintball gun. That's no, look, if you try to program it to word. only like, shoot on certain words, we're really bad, so we just did a program that recognizes a word. So you gotta speak in something other than English. Uh, TBC. My friends.